Hello and welcome to Wrath of... What are you doing? Miming you. Hello and welcome to Wrath of the Romanator. This week I was challenged by Katie Crawford to get somebody who is blindfolded to put makeup on me. Um, and this is my little sister, Gretel. I'm not little, I'm bigger than you actually. Yeah, but you pushed the chair up so it went higher so that you could look the same size as me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we've got all bits and bobs here. They're, they're like makeup stuff. Gretel's gonna put them on me. <laughs> you look like you've got a trunk. <laughs> can, I, can we just move that? How many, how many fingers am I putting up? Two. Okay, that's fine. I'll take off my glasses. Okay, so let's go. Oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. How can girls do this every day? Well, it feels like the way mascara is, so. I don't know if it should. What's mascara? Oh! Oh, I didn't put, there's nothing on your face. <laughs> yes, there was. There wasn't. I need to put that in the spots. On my spot, thanks. Oh, that's a big spot. You're just using this as an excuse to feel my face, aren't you? <laughs> don't, don't, don't put your <laughs> fingers up my nose. Don't put a paintbrush up my nose. Don't put something that's been in my nose, in my mouth. But where is your face? It's on my head! If I put this all over your face and that takes, that uses up what, basically, because there was no, I think the old bottle was foundation because it felt like it. Because it felt like the foundation bottle mummy uses. So I think because this is concealer, I'll just use this up as a um, concealer, if you get what I mean. What? Do you want me to take it blindfold off so you can see my face? Oh, I love Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got sick on your face. I think you were. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. This one felt bigger. Wait, what? I put the eyeliner on your eyebrow. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. That would take ages to get out. Really? I've got a party to go to tonight. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's like a permanent eyeliner. It's like 24 hours. Really? Yeah. This one. Now don't put it back on me. Thank you very much for watching episode 16 of Wrath of the Romanator. Um, Katie, who challenged me, I'm very sorry. You haven't won. Get, come on. You haven't won 60 points because I have done the cha- Loser! Yep. I've done the challenge, but you have won one point and you've won me having this face. Permanent now, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, the eyeliner's permanent. Thank you very much for watching episode. I said that. Wrath the Romanator is a feature on my Wizard Radio show where I'm challenged each week to do something that's really mad. If I do the challenge successfully, then the person who suggested it wins one point. But if I fail the challenge, then the person who suggested it wins 60 points. Remember, if you'd like to challenge me, I can't actually speak because there's something on my lip. <laughs> if you'd like to challenge me for episode 17 of Wrath of the Romanator, you have to message us your challenge on Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo! No! You Send us an that. email. Email. Yahoo! No one uses Yahoo! Yahoo. <laughs> message us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. send us an email! email. Um, oh, all no, the links! Thanks. Are uh, uh, in, in the description, description. so click them. them. Remember, listen to my radio show every Sunday from six to eight on www.wizardradio.co.uk. Slash listen live. We should have gone live then, like you know, this Click here for episode 14 of Wrath the Romanator where I am singing a hard song. Click here for episode 15 of Wrath the Romanator where I am going up to people in public and saying, I love you. You can click here to see episode 17 of Wrath the Romanator, which is not out yet, but if you click on it in a couple of weeks time, it might be out. Thank you very much for watching episode 16 of Wrath the Romanator. We'll see you next week for episode 17. Bye bye.